Hi guys, it's Oli here, I hope you are having a great day. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can also create such a cool effect for your drone. As you can see, the color of these LEDs are changing depending on the throttle, depending on how fast the props are spinning. But for that to be able to do, I used this infrared sensor. It's very cheaply available on the internet. I took it apart so that I have two components. I have one infrared LED and a photodiode. I place them in a way so that the props can get in between, so the light, which is coming from the infrared to the photodiode, can be interrupted. When it is interrupted, the photodiode can register that, and connecting it up to an Arduino Nano like this, two interrupt events can be checked, and the time elapsed between them, thus we can actually calculate the speed of rotation. And uh, with that information, I can control these RGB LEDs to change color depending on how fast the props are spinning. This was something I wanted to check for a long time if it's possible to do. So this is what this project is actually about. This is how I connected up the RGB LEDs to the Arduino. And uh, I'm using one pin to control two LEDs only. That's why there are so many pins, because I didn't want to overload the Arduino pins, because I'm using only 470 ohm resistors on every LED. You can pause this if you need to, to check the schematics, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Quickly the build, I'm using some uh, modeling foam to create a platform where I can uh, mount the photodiode so that it's not in the way of the props. I'm using a little piece of uh, wood, just as a very light uh, stick. And uh, I'm going to mount there on one of the arms, the infrared LED with just a little bit of a hot glue. Uh, really for all the wiring, I'm using the schematics. I'm not going to show too much of that to keep this uh, build part short. Here is the photodiode, it's on the top. I decided to put that up so that it can be covered from sunlight with some dark paper, but anyways, this mode really works best uh, in the dark. So this is the spacing. You have to have enough space between the photodiode and the props because the props as they spin, the faster they spin, they actually tend to bend a little bit upward so that it does not hit. Anyways, here is the RGB LED. I connected up all the, the cathodes and then uh, I'm actually soldering the 470 ohm resistors on the anodes. This is how it looks. It's not beautiful because this is a recycled LED from an LED strip, but that's blue and that's supposedly red, even though it doesn't look like that on the video. This is the, the wiring. I use double-sided foam tape to to fix the LEDs on the back of the, of the arms. This is not beautiful, this is a prototype, really, it's just a proof of concept, so don't bash me in the comments about how ugly my plate of spaghetti looks, because it looks like a, like a plate of pasta. It follows the schematic diagram I showed you before, so it looks complicated, but it is actually not that complicated. And of course, this can be made better and 3D printed uh, arms and everything. But this is how it looks, so it's blue when it's at its lowest RPM and uh, then as the throttle is being pushed it turns all the way to red and when it hovers it's kind of a purple. So this is how it looks in uh, daylight, so to say. And now here is some more tests about it in darkness. I have to be honest, I... I I like this more than I thought I would. I, I kind of like the fact that it changes its color. It's not just like... It, it, it anyway looks pretty to have uh, four LEDs on the end of the four arms. I think it looks pretty, pretty nice. But the fact that it changes color, it really gives it a nice touch. And the colors can be chosen, right? Uh, I, I just like blue and red, that's why it's... Uh, it's like that, but it could be green, yellow, whatever. I mean, RGB LEDs, right? They can create any color gradient possible. So I didn't talk in this video about the code at all because uh, we agreed that uh, we are not going to do that, but uh, it is going to be published. It's, uh, it, you will see a link in the description box. 
so that you can download the code that will be exactly for this schematic with these kind of settings. Anyways, guys, if you have anything to say or if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Check out my other videos if you are interested in these subjects and uh, please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.